nice to be here. I have had a few white wines, sure. I like white wine, it's my favourite drink. I think it should be a class A drug though, because it makes you go mental. <laughs> Don't mean you have a beer, you're like, oh, I feel good. You have a white wine, you're like, I'm going to text him. <laughs> I'm going to clarify something he said in 2017. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yes, my parents are divorced. Um, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I didn't mind that so much. I think the worst thing about your parents getting divorced is that they move into two different houses and then you, as the kid, has to move from house to house. And I remember being little thinking, why can't I stay here and you guys move to me? <laughs> and I'm like, why am I five years old learning how to roll my socks to fit more room in the suitcase because dad kissed a woman at a party? <laughs> then I get there, he's like, oh, you forgot your toothbrush. I'm like, dude, you forgot your wedding vows. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. <laughs> My mum called me the other day, actually. She said, oh, I think, I think you've got this thyroid disease. A lot of the women in our family have got it. You've got all the symptoms. You've got weight fluctuation. Uh, you've got skin prone to breakouts and you're quite irritable and, and rude. <laughs> and I was like, well, I hope I've got it. <laughs> Otherwise, this has just been quite a mean phone call. <laughs> so, it's fine. <laughs> bit of a mug off. It happens a bit. Like I, my friends and I, we have this thing, we call it the abomination theory. It's this theory that we've figured out that in this world there's you and then there's people who look like you but better. And then, <laughs> and then there's people who look like you but a bit worse and we call them your abomination. And what we do is every time we see each other's abomination is we'll give each other a call. And uh, the, I got a call the other day from my friend. He said, I just saw your abomination. Worst one yet. <laughs> So she was real sweaty. She was carrying two plastic bags full of chicken, just kind of running along the street. <laughs> and I said, what? Was that like an hour ago? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Maybe I should stop answering the phone. I'm addicted to my phone. I think so many people are. It causes people so much anxiety. A lot of people are trying to get off their phones uh, using different methods. My friend, she's downgraded from her smartphone to a flip phone. She came over the other day, we are going out to eat. She's like, yeah, I've got a flip phone. It's awesome. I'm not checking my emails. I'm not scrolling through Instagram, comparing my life to other people's. It's so good. I feel so in the moment. I was like, okay, cool. I guess I'm getting the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it really just sort of outsourced your anxiety to me there, haven't you? <laughs> She's sort of skipping off like a free little fairy. I'm trying to find out where North is. <laughs> it's fun. Fun for me. Um, but she's, she also, yeah, her dog is on antidepressants. Yeah. It's weird because the narrative of the dog is that they're quite happy. Um, and, you know, I think it kind of makes sense. Like when I get bored, sometimes I get depressed. And I think these dogs, they're so smart. You know, they descended from wolves. They used to be hunting stuff. I don't know. But now they, now they just sort of sit on the couch. They're wearing, wearing little jackets. We treat them like idiots. We're like, you're a dog. <laughs> they're so smart. You know, dogs can, they're so smart. They can smell up to four different types of cancer in the human body. Yeah, I know. Can't tell you about it, though. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's why they're so depressed. They're just sitting there with the weight of the world on their shoulders. <laughs> and again, we treat them like idiots. We're like, oi, don't piss on the rug. It's like, bitch, you've got cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oof, oof, stage four. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I want them. I don't know if I want them to talk. I don't, because I think the best thing about having a dog is that you can sit there in complete silence. It's beautiful. You know, like, why would you want awkward silence with yet another thing in your life? I don't know. Hey, Conan, you've got, have you got a dog? I have uh, two dogs. What are their names? Uh, Bosco and Loki. Bosco and Loki. Yeah. And do you ever wish you could talk to them? Yeah, it'd be fun to know what they're up to, yeah. I guess. I disagree. I think, because, I mean, what if Bosco and Loki could talk, but you guys don't click? Like, what if you knew Bosco and Logie could talk to you and they yeah. won't? And then just, they don't, they're not, we don't yeah. click at all. Yeah. yeah. And you're trying to get it going. <laughs> you know, you're, on, you're on the couch. You're like, hey, Bos Bosco, did you, um, did you like that walk before? He's like, yeah, you asked us earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, okay, yeah, whatever. Look, I've got to go. I've, I've got a doctor's appointment. He's like, mm -hmm, good luck. <laughs> That is my time. Thank you. Thank you very much.